Hello, Conan O'Brien here. And I'm in downtown Los Angeles in the fashion district because I want to try this brand new fad that's sweeping the nation. It's called an escape room. Basically, you get a bunch of your friends, you go into a room, you're locked inside, there are clues and puzzles, and you all have to work together to figure your way out of the room. I wanted to bring my friends and try it. Unfortunately, they were all busy. So I brought my producer, Jordan Schlansky. Hey, Jordan. How are you? You want to help me? You think we can get work together and get out of the escape room? My mind Would works. Would you take in... sunglasses off, please? I took my, I whipped mine off dramatically. Can you whip them off dramatically? We're standing outside. Just in whip Southern them off. California. Whip them off dramatically. That's not that. No, like this. Put them on. Now whip them off. Hopeless. Let's get in. If you can't get your glasses off, how are we going to get out of the escape room? This is exciting. Uh, we've just met Stephanie, is that right? Stephanie. Hey, yeah. Stephanie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, what's the fastest time that a group has gotten out of this room? 47 minutes. 47. I think we will beat that record. In general, are you good at solving riddles and puzzles? I think with my powers of observation and deduction, in combination with your proclivity for academics, we'll be a strong team. OK. He's sort of the Spock to my curve. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. Each room has a different theme. Which room are you gonna put us in? I'm putting you in the detective. And what era is this? The 1940s. 1940s. Correct. How common is it for people who are about to play the game to dress in period clothing? Mm, it's not very common. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? Yeah. Do you wanna try an accent or anything? I believe in the 1940s, people spoke much as they do now. What you're mentioning was a media affectation. Okay, he takes the fun out of anything. This looks like a real 1940s detective's office. And who is this right here? That's the secretary. This is the secretary? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> At this moment, she's doing more than my assistant ever does. <laughs> yeah. Her name's Sona. She just kind of, she watches The Bachelor a lot at her desk. All right, so I'm gonna set this timer for one hour, have fun, and I guess you're gonna get out in 46 minutes. Good morning, gentlemen. I'm the detective secretary. I said to give this to you, and that's very important. So you finally made it. I had a visit the other day from an old friend, an old blonde friend. This dame hasn't changed a bit. She's still as cold as a July in Frisco. This guy is not funny. <laughs> Help me as I figure out which of those gangsters' goons is behind the jewel thefts. That's the first thing we have to do. You're wasting you time. I've read this thing three times already. We've already lost five minutes. It's 20% of our time. We need you're to work quickly. You're being an We asshole. need to work quickly and survey the room. There are many objects here. It's visually stimulating and very complex. I think we need to break this down and understand what lies ahead of us. Three, two, three, two. This will get you started. This puzzle, it says three, two, three, two at the top. So I'm gonna circle every third, Eleven, then I'm gonna circle seven, nine, every eight, second. Seven, six. I've left something. Go ahead. Under. Under, skip ahead. Under, 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 there's the, uh, under, under my, my typewriter. Watch out. Ah! First, this is it. This is the first key. What's it Shortest say? Shortest guy does not wear the smallest shoes. This key opened up this drawer. Suspects. Here we go, shoe, shoe size. The guy with the shoe size 11 is either Peanuts Romanello or is from Hollywood. The guy from Boyle Heights is six feet tall. Johnny Tomatoes is not from Hollywood. And neither is the guy who is 6'1". What? <laughs> this guy is a crappy detective. The guy from 11 is either Peanuts Romanello or from Hollywood. Right. If the guy from the size 13 shoes uh, is the guy from Hollywood, then that would stand to reason that size 11 is Peanuts Romanello. This is hard! <laughs> this is really hard! <laughs> is there a way to order in food? You can use the phone over there. That's right, I got my partner working on the case. He's solving the clues. While Dolly and I are having a real sweet time together. She's one <laughs> ripe tomato, if you know what I'm saying. Yes. Yes, she's got an eye piercing that doesn't go along with the 1940s. You'd think that would get her fired, working in a period costume. But apparently, they don't care about that kind of thing here. He says he wears the smallest shoe. Therefore, it stands to reason he's not the shortest guy. And we What's know that? that was not Mickey Siegel. Well, that's just air conditioning. 
Okay. Half of the time has elapsed. What percentage of the tasks have we completed? Um, about 5%. I just solved one major problem right here. Check this out. Now you have 10 minutes left. I've been trying to decipher this Morse code. They're broadcasting, but can't get very far. Do both of you need to be working on that right now, or is there something I'll else assemble the crime scene photos. You do Please that. proceed with this. I'm going to start chewing gum. We need to work in a linear fashion. Let's Each take of a us guess. independently. Two Let's planes. take a guess on who the jewel thief is. And you have to tell us if we're right. Who do you think it is? Mickey Siegel. Is it Siegel? I don't know. Is it Siegel? <laughs> Look, Dame. I'm getting pretty hot and bothered, see? We need answers, see? I need to know who the jewel thief is, see? And I think you know, see? You're not allowed to damage anything in here. Oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> <coughs> sorry, I have a cold. Look, there's 300 clams here. In the 1940s, I could buy you a Buick. What can you tell us? I'm serious, this is yours. This is real money. This game is bullshit. This is real money. Okay, okay, now just tell me, just give us a little bit of help. Just a little bit of help. Here, can you just stuff this down there? That's what they did in the movies. God, can I push, push it? Okay, just help us out a little bit. That box over there looks important though. But that's only, that's only for one of the four numbers. Why do you get physical? There are steps to take the next step. Don't tell anything. me how to run my detective agency! You're falling apart at the seams. I'm not falling apart! You're the only one here that really knows what he's doing! Maintain your focus. Airplane. This is a mechanical device. It won't reason with logic. You're a mechanical device, and you don't reason with logic. Burn. <laughs> if I tell you something you're not telling anybody, go ahead. I urinated in the file cabinet over there about 10 minutes ago. That's a nice clue I left for the next guy. <laughs> What if you move that picture over there? It's crooked. Look at this! Anything on that safe? It says, it says square. I've seen that before. Where was the theater? You always you know put what? things down, you don't keep track of it. I put things down and I don't know where they are. You have to maintain focus. You're costing us valuable- Shut up! It's just another puzzle. Another puzzle! Okay, quick update, here's we are. Uh, Jordan uh, did a really good job. He found out uh, that one of the combinations is S-T-E-A-L. Uh, I, on my part, just realized that if I throw my belt over the top of that pipe, I can probably hang myself. <laughs> and this bullshit is over. So, we're making progress. Ah! Success. Keys! This might be the final step. Yeah! We did it! We did it! Yes! Come here, baby! Uh, I don't recommend that. I really... <laughs> Our thanks to everyone uh, who helped us in the escape room. Wonderful, but I, man, I, that wasn't for me. <laughs>